Ayan. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, mga Matibay students. Welcome to our Matibay class. Ayun, ma'am, tintin, wow. kumusta naman? Mahaba-haba. Ang tulog, fully charged ka. Fully charged tayo <laughs> ng bonggang-bongga. At syempre, ma'am, congratulations sa lahat ng mga students ng Core 006 sa kanilang successful na MPT-1 ng fourth quarter. Ayan, marami-rami nang nagsubmit ng video discussions, tama? At natutuwa tayo. Oo, nakakatawa dahil super gagaling. Iniforthan ng full. Nakuha nila yung style natin sa pagtuturo. Yes. Oo, at uh -huh. ngayon ma'am, masasabi na nila kung paano talaga ang magturo. Oo. Oh. Pa, ma, uh, alam nyo na yung feeling kung paano gumawa ng video, video discussion. discussion. And before that, Sir Jason, i-welcome muna natin ang ating mga bagong estudyante. Actually, hindi sila bago sa'yo, pero bago sila sa akin. May bago rin sa akin, ma'am. Gusto mo shout out ang mga STEM 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, At gusto ko rin i-shout out <laughs> ang STEM 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and... 32. Nakalimutan mo si 33. Hindi binigay sa'yo. Walang 33 sa'kin. Pero shout out na rin sa 33. Uh, ba? Welcome mga anak sa ating video discussions. Matibay class. At natupad na ang inyong kahilingan dahil si Ma'am Tintin po ang pumalit sa inyong math teacher. Wow! wow <laughs> Grabe yung kahilingan ko. Pressure. Oo, At dahil dapat, dyan. At dahil dyan, tapos na tayo ma'am sa tinatawag nating null and alternative hypothesis. Yes. And this is the continuation, Module 20. Am I module right? 20, and it is all about identifying the appropriate test statistics and describing the basic steps of testing of hypothesis. Basic yun in the basic. Oh, Kinapipaste ko lang uh, Basic yan ha. Basic <laughs> steps <laughs> of testing of hypothesis. Okay? Yes. And Module 20. And of course, we have the following objectives okay first objective is of course to identify the appropriate test statistic when when a the population variable is assumed to be known and of course b population variance is assumed to be unknown and the central limit theorem is to be used. <laughs> oh, ko nagkamali doon. <laughs> Second is to describe the basic steps in statistical hypothesis testing. Oh, my steps na tayo. So, yes. it's easier. Okay, mas madali na yan. Ang, ang ganda naman nung pag-anon niya. Siyempre, a ripple effect. Okay, okay, steps in testing a hypothesis. Uh -oh. Okay, Meron tayong ilan? Ayan, una is to formulate the null and alternative hypothesis. Alam na, alam na natin yes, yan. Yes, okay, alam na natin na kapag null hypothesis, there is no significant. Kapag alternative, there is a significant. significant. <laughs> and of course, the number two is to identify the level of significance and the appropriate test is statistics. Oh, paano yung level na yun? Yung um, 95%, Malay 90, 98%, 99%, may 98 ba? Yes, 98. 90, 95, 99. 98, 99. Mga ganon. Third one is to determine the critical value, tabular value for the test, obtain the value from tables using the value of A for one tailed and test, and of course, A all over 2 for two tailed tests. Yan, involved na tables. Fourth is to compute the Z value or T value. Yan yung inaral natin nakaraan, yung medyo mahabang formula. Ganun. Yes, of course, and, to, and uh, fifth one is to decide whether to accept or reject the null hypothesis. Gusto, gusto ko to. Uh -huh. The null hypothesis is accepted with the absolute value of the computed value of Z or T is less than the absolute value of the critical value. Otherwise, reject the null hypothesis. Wow. <laughs> Again, null hypothesis lang ang ating if we reject or yeah. Accept. Yeah, accept. Yes. And last but not the least, is state the conclusion. And yeah, those are the six, six steps. steps. Six steps in testing a hypothesis. And because of that, let's now move on to the types of test statistics. Yes. Meron tayong tatlo, I think. Una is a Z test. A Z test is used for testing mean of a population versus a standard or comparing the mean of two populations with large sample whether you know the population standard deviation or not. So Take note, ma'am, yes. when we talk on Z-test, dapat po ang number of population natin is greater than or equal to 30. Yes, okay. greater than or equal to 20. And 30, it is 30, also, 30, 30. yes, 30. And it is also used for testing the 
proportion of some characteristics versus a standard proportion or comparing the proportions of two population. Okay, we also have example. Comparing example of a Z test is comparing the average teaching salaries of men versus women. Mm -hmm. So, meron tayong dalawang pinagko-compare. Yes. So, Z test kagad ang ating gagamitin dyan. And of course, we also have a T test. T test is used for testing the mean of one population against a standard or comparing the means of two populations if you do not know the population's standard deviation and when you have a limited sample. Ibig sabihin nun, ma'am, N is less than 30, 30 only. Yes. If you know the population's standard deviation, you may use a Z-test. Okay? Example? Is measuring the average salaries of prof professors from a certain universities when you have a small sample. sample. So, hindi mo sila pinagko-compare. Uh, lahat, lahat ng professors, chine-check mo. Oo, uh, ma'am. At saka, again, lower than 30 lang dapat yes. ang sample natin. At meron din tayong number 3. F-test. An F-test is used to compare two or more population's variances. The sample can be any size. It is the basis of ANOVA. O, anong, ANOVA, mapag-aaralan din natin yan. Ano it, is also, <laughs> it is also used in comparing the means of two or more independent groups and in looking at the inter interaction effect between the variables being analyzed. Okay. May example tayo dyan. Of course, comparing the variability of score from three sections of students. Ayan, sabi okay. niya kasi dyan, two or more, more population. population. Ayun! And let's now proceed on our examples for this particular topic, yes. Matitin. Ang importante dito, ma-determine natin kung anong pagkakaiba ng Z-test, F-test, and T-test. Okay? Take note that when we are talking Z-test, okay, end is greater than or equal to 30. Yes. At pag sinabi naman natin T-test, our N is less than 30. And when we talk on F-test, take note that we're talking with two or more population variances. Yes. Okay, okay. so for our activity, this one or yung examples natin, we are going to determine the appropriate test statistics, whether ang gagamitin natin ay Z-test, T-test, or F-test. So let's proceed with our number one. Okay. Okay, read ma'am din din. So, number one, an agronomist randomly selected 20 matured calamansi trees of one variety and have a mean height of 10.8 feet with standard deviation of 1.2 feet while 12 randomly selected calamansi trees of another variety have a mean height of 9.6 feet with a standard deviation of 1.5. So, kapag binabasa mo siya, ma'am, ang dami-dami given. Pero ang gagawin lang natin, e eh, determine natin whether it is Z-test, T-test, or F-test. Papaano natin malalaman by? Take note of the word randomly selected 20 matured calamansi trees. Okay, my question is, ang 20 ba ay greater than 30? Of course not. It is less than 30. Since ang ating N is less than 30, definitely, ang test na yan ay tinatawag nating T-test. Ayan, again, 20, less than 30 siya, kaya po T-test. Okay. Clear na clear ang number 1. How about number 2? A sample of 70 observations was selected from a normal population. The sample mean is 2.78 and the sample standard deviation is 0 0.83. Another sample of 58 observations was selected from a normal population. The mean sample is 2.63 and the sample standard deviation is 0 0.75. Ano ang keyword natin dyan or ano ang kailangan natin tignan? Sample. Sample. And take note na ang binanggit po sa example number 2, ang sample daw natin ay? 70 observations. 70 observations. At dahil greater than 30 siya, ang number 2 po natin ay? Anong sagot? Of course, Z-test. Am I right? Yes. So the correct answer is Z-test. Again, 70 is greater than 30. Let's third. proceed on our third example. Basa, Mang Tintin. 
A district supervisor of a certain school surveyed 28 randomly selected teachers and found that they work on an average of 42.6 hours a week and the standard deviation was 3.75 hours. Okay, the keyword is 28 randomly selected teachers. Okay, is 28 is greater than 30? Of course not. That less is lower than, than 30 yes. or less than 30. At kapag less than 30, definitely that test is actually... Yeah. T-test. Ang hirap. Yes, it is T-test dahil 28 lang po siya. So, fourth one. Di ba? Ang dali. Yun lang naman yung kailangan natin i-master dito. Mm. Determine who among the three salesmen will most likely be promoted based on their monthly sales in pesos. Okay. The word that in that particular is three salesmen yes. will most three... likely be promoted. Yes. Okay. So, ibig sabihin yan, we are comparing two or more population. Yes, tatlo okay. ang pinagko-compare natin dyan. At since two or more uh, population variances yan, ang sagot natin will be F test. F -test. Okay. okay. And number five yung tintin. I think last na yan example. Yes. Okay, a researcher randomly selected a sample of 550 residents and found out or found that 495 of them do have household pets. Ayan, so sa... Sa example pa lang, halatang it's halata mo na, clear. it is very obvious dahil and ang obvious. given numbers natin ay more than or higher than or greater than 30. So and because of that, not that, okay? <laughs> and because of that, ang sagot natin ay Definitely. obviously details. Okay. okay. So yun, I hope clear na clear na clear sa kanila. <laughs> Dahil... At para naman mantintin, yes. okay, masanay sila at talagang tumatak sa kanila ang Z-test, F-test, and T-test. Let's have this one. Ayan. For your attendance this week, mga matibay students, answer the question, differentiate Z-test, F-test, and, and T-test. So take note, put your answer on the GCR under connect. Section. Again, so, this will serve as your attendance. attendance. Ibig sabihin nun, Ma'am Tintin, kapag di nila nabasa yan, hindi nila hindi pinanood nila. hanggang sa huli. Lagi nating tatandaan, mga anak, na medyo mahirap man ang mga susunod na araw, kakayanin natin lahat yan. Dahil pak uh, pakatandaan nyo na lahat tayo ay hashtag Matibay! Matibay. Goodbye, mga anak. Bye-bye!